Hello YouTubers, uh, Tross here, back playing some more Kerbal Space Program. Uh, here we are at this uh, Minimus rover that we landed last time here in the flats here, not too far from our uh, Minimus station, about uh, 12 kilometers away. And, uh, oh look, so we just collected five units of ore. We've been here about an hour and a half. Uh, we landed about fifth hour of the previous day and we've been uh, mining here with our small mining drill uh, collecting ore into these uh, small radial holding tanks and we have a small convertitron uh, but we have not yet started it to make fuel but uh, I did extend these larger solar panels to collect more electricity but I noticed uh, the sun is beginning to set, so I would like to go out and uh, collect the temperature readings that we are here to collect before the sun goes down. So here is our next location to collect temperature readings from, and it looks like it's not far from where we crashed the previous rover, which did not have that wide of a wheelbase. This one has a wider wheelbase, but it's not that big <laughs> forward and back. Uh, maybe I should have put the landing legs more towards the center and the wheels more towards the outside, but I really wanted the rockets more towards the outside, or the most furthest out, so it would be the most stable while landing. So let's uh, shut down the service harvester and retract the drill and uh, let's get ready to drive this thing. I'm going to um, say control from there and that will give us a nav ball but apparently it's upside down uh, just because of the rotation of this probe core. I really wish you could adjust that but you know we'll, we'll deal with that. Uh, the next thing I think we want to do is retract the landing gear and float down and land on our uh, wheels. So let's do that. <coughs> there we go. Look at that. Some suspension going there. The gravity is pretty light here, so it's... Uh, Even though it was like a two meter fall, it, it's not a problem. Now, theoretically, we just push forward here. Oh! <laughs> um, let's turn off SAS. Well, push forward does make the wheels go. However, um, we have too much reaction wheels. So let's uh, disable those and... Uh, Disable the reaction wheel that's built into the command pod. Now... Okay, we're... Uh, we're going here. Um, actually, let's uh, change the steering up. I uh, had originally intended to drive the other way, but since this is the direction it considers forward, let's just go in that direction. Alright, and there we see the uh, thermometer. Ooh, let's skidding out a bit. Let's not do that too much. It does look icy, but it's technically not ice. <laughs> it's just uh, friction issues because of the low gravity. In fact, let's uh, we can adjust the traction control. I want to turn it up a bit. Let's try 2.0. Not really sure what effect that has exactly, but that should limit how much power is applied to the wheel so they don't spin and slip and instead provide more grip. <laughs> um, you know what, let's... We have enough power. Let's retract these. Uh, just in case something does happen, we don't want to break them. Uh, we're going at a decent clip. 
uh, about six meters per second, which in Kerbal Space Tur ah, Kerbal Space Program terms is not that fast. But when you're driving around and you don't have that much gravity, it's actually pretty quick. So we're going to drive up this slope and, well, somewhere towards that direction. That's all the debris from our previous crashed rover. And uh, somewhere close to there is where the location is. So we'll drive over there and get the temperature readings. We have a thermometer right here. And uh, we'll then head around. Uh, I think there's a few other readings that we need to take. But unfortunately, it's only showing the next one in the list. Um, let's actually... Uh, temperature... Alright, we've gotten alpha. We are heading towards beta. Okay. go back here. Um, we do still have plenty of fuel and we also, oh, that's our battery, we have a small fuel cell uh, if we want to produce some more uh, electricity without using our solar panels. We do still have these two solar panels and a few on our nose of our uh, module here producing electricity. Oh, I gotta watch my speed. We're up to 8.8 .8 meters per second, which is quite fast for a land vehicle on a low gravity moon. I really want to be careful of ridges or anything. I don't want to, well, not that there's air, but I don't want to catch air. <laughs> I'm going to slow down a bit. Alright, this doesn't look too bad. I'm not sure how the transition... Oop, here we'll go up to the slope. Okay, but, whoa! Pop the wheelie there. Alright, I'm not pushing forward, but I'm going to start now. Cause, uh, this actually looks pretty steep. I want to make sure... Yeah, we're losing... Uh, losing some speed here. What if we reduce the traction control a bit? Oh yeah, that looks like it increases the motor power. We do it on all the wheels. How about, uh... Turning and going across the hill. Alright, we're starting to pick up a little more speed going across the hill. We don't want to start sliding down, though. Which seems we... <laughs> seems like the rover wants to do that, but I'm gonna try to keep it on the uh, 225 line here. You can actually see the little darker patch on the wheel. It gives you a really good idea how fast it's spinning and um, if it's slipping or not. We're actually well, picking up decent speed. Almost at five meters per second. So we can head a little more directly in the direction we want to go. And yes, we're continuing to pick up speed. And we're approaching. Five meters per second now.
And we're continuing to climb this hill. We're now about almost a quarter of a kilometer above where we started. Um, I did not check how close we were to the debris, but I don't think we are too far away from that. So we've come uh, quite a distance so far. That's probably come like 1.5 kilometers or so. Not sure how tall this hill is, but uh, we'll get to the top eventually. We have maybe, well, hopefully it's less than 4 kilometers to go to get to the reading location. I know the previous rover didn't quite make it, but I'm not sure how far it was from it. But uh, I know right now we're on the opposite side of it, so I know it's less than 4 kilometers away. <laughs> All right, we're at 400 meters up from the surface of the flats now, and continuing to climb. Looks like maybe two or two and a half uh, meters per second we're climbing. A little hard to tell with the log scale of the, uh, well, um, Climb rate indicator. It's probably closer to two. All right, let's uh, correct our direction a little bit. So we're going more directly towards the uh, temperature reading location that we need. We uh, still look to be doing pretty good. We are at actually quite an angle. That's uh, pretty good that we're uh, keeping this speed. Although we have slowed slightly. I mean, we're still doing uh, much better than we were initially with uh, traction control set uh, at 2. 1.5 seems pretty good here. I don't want to set it too low. Otherwise, I think our, our wheels may just spin... Uh, or, you know, basically not get the traction hit. <laughs> they need to propel us, or turn us, or stop us. All right, we just crossed uh, 700 meters up this hill. Looks like we're getting close to the top, although I'm sure it continues up for quite a bit, even after uh, the ridge that we see here. We're now probably two and a half kilometers from where we started. And we're probably two and a half kilometers for where we need to go. Although, again, I'm not sure exactly how far the rover was from the uh, area for the readings, but uh, I don't think it was too far. Oh, and we've picked up quite a bit of speed, so I'm going to uh, let go of forward a bit. We're about uh, 850 meters up the hill. Yeah, don't want to 
get too fast because uh, there may be little ridges here. I don't want to catch air. Not that there's air on the moon. Or Minmus, for that matter. I'm also not quite so sure how long it'll take us to stop. Probably as long as it took us to get going, which, uh... You know, this does not accelerate that quick, so... All right, we're continuing on. We're actually still going up slowly, but it looks like it's kind of a little dip ahead of us. So we may actually start dropping in altitude a bit. We're 50 meters shy of a kilometer up the hill. And uh, otherwise, we're still doing good. Our we're staying fully charged with our solar panels being nicely exposed. They're getting about two uh, volts or <laughs> per second, and apparently the wheels are using less than that. Especially since I'm not pushing forward all the time. Yeah, it looks like it's only using about half a volt a second each. All right, we actually are still climbing slowly, even though it kind of looks like we may be going down. There's a... Oh, there's a little darker... Stripe. That may be a little rut or something. I'm gonna slow down a bit. Oh, 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 oh. We're kind of sliding. It, yeah, look at that. There is sort of an edge here. Oh, and <laughs> we caught a little tiny bit of air anyway, but uh, all right, that was not too bad at all, though. Although I'm wondering if I was pushing forward at the time, if that would have tried to rotate our craft, craft rover. I mean, it technically is a craft still. Let's uh. There we go. Head a little more direct. Oh, and we have entered. Uh, let's put on the brakes. All right. I'm not how sure how big this area is, but we're just about a kilometer from the previous rover. So the previous rover was pretty close, uh, and we're now sliding around. Let's uh, brakes, brakes. Okay. Let's uh, take this reading. Um, oh, uh, cancel. Let's uh, let's uh, go on EVA and uh, retrieve our current data. Come on, Hermes. Let's. Uh, can you reach it from here? Uh, I guess you can. Let's. Take the data. Can you log the temperature? Only a scientist can do that. Okay. <clears throat> I 
Um, why are you still walking? Let's... Are you stuck? Don't tell me. Not pushing any direction, but he's still walking. Okay, uh, climb sort of got us out of that. Let's climb again. And grab. And board. Alright, now we can probably log temperature. Okay, let's keep that. And you can see... Get off the thermometer. <laughs> We gathered data from PT Beta. All right. Um, oh, wait. Now they want us to go to Gamma? Uh, okay. We, we can do that. Oh. <laughs> That's... Okay, it's already activated. That's back in the direction that we just came from, I think. All right, let's uh, turn off the brakes, and can we drive forward here? You can see the... All right, the wheels actually aren't slipping, so that's good. Okay, there is the marker. A little, a little more, and we're just picking up speed from going downhill right now. So we're gonna continue doing that as I get lined up on the marker. That looks pretty good. And we're actually picking up quite a bit of speed. Put on the brakes a bit, but uh, we started sliding. That's the uh, kind of problem with low gravity. If, if one wheel happens to have slightly more traction than another, you're going to tend to turn towards that direction. And if you're going quickly enough, uh, I think that can actually cause us to tumble if then we get going too far side on where the wheels are gonna actually dig in and that wouldn't be good let's uh, go back to power here now actually all resources oh and we a uh, <laughs> little jump there again uh, we don't want too many more of those so let's Try to keep our speed under control here. Uh, it looks like we may. Okay, no, that was okay. All right, I know the rocks really aren't there, but uh, let's try to avoid. Well, we did not do too <laughs> well of avoiding that one. All right, we're, well, we were down to about six and a half meters per second, which I think is manageable. But we keep speeding back up whenever I let go of the brakes, so. Not sure how far away uh, this is. Let's uh, maybe we're halfway there, and of course we're picking up speed again. Of 
going to guess that uh, <laughs> the location is a little beyond this ridge, so we're going to be on a steeper slope when we need to take the readings. and It's probably going to be a problem. Let's uh, slow down again. All right, this area looks a bit flatter, although we are still going down. We are breaking a little more stably now. We're down to 5 meters per second, so I'll let us coast from there. We're approaching the edge of the hill, though. And it looks like it gets much steeper, not too much further ahead. Hopefully, uh, we're pretty close. That's as close as I can zoom in. We're we're nearly there, but we still have a ways to go. And uh, we're approaching the edge here of the steeper hill. I'm going to try holding the brake down and uh, seeing how we can do with stopping. Don't want to get turned too much sideways. So I'll have to be constantly watching. We we did slow down pretty good. We're now down to like three and a half meters per second. Um, no, no, I was turning the wrong way. Gonna try to keep it to about three meters per second or so or under <laughs> just so we can uh, stop in time. That's the wrong way. We want to go. Oh, hey, we just entered the area. Can we stop now? Under one and a half meters per second. One meter per second. Let's put the brakes on full. Okay, we have come to a stop. Time to get that temperature reading. And we really don't need to keep these. So I'm just going to overwrite. And uh, looks like we got the next one. Mm -hmm. Gathered survey data from PT Gamma. Okay. A little bit of funds and a tiny bit of science and uh, reputation. Couldn't think of reputation for some reason. Now we need Delta. Where where is Delta? Ooh, it's down on the ice flats. Um, hmm. Going up, I th think, was okay. Uh, I don't want to see, though, what going down is like. 
Especially since we've had a bit of trouble stopping here. I can't imagine what speed we'll be at at the bottom. Um, we have we have plenty of fuel. I'm gonna try using these uh, engines and flying down. I mean, that's what we have them for, so might as well use them. Um, let's re-enable SAS. Because <laughs> that's what we have it for, to keep us stable. And, uh, let's, uh, turn on SAS, and, uh, let's, um, control from here. That way, I'll know if I'm straight up and down, <laughs> which is what we want. We don't want to get moving too fast forward. We just want to make sure we're pointing directly straight up and down as we're landing so we don't start drifting one way or another. All right. Let's uh, take off in three... Two, one. Um. Let's tilt forward a bit. <clears throat> okay, and there you can actually see the... Uh, reading, or location, we're actually probably going to go past it uh, quite a bit. All right, we're bringing that back. And that should be good. Probably went a bit high. Not entirely sure where the, uh... Well, let's see. My nose is now, or the tip of our nose cone is now pointing straight out. It's probably somewhere around here. Okay, we are beginning to come down, so let's, uh... Well, not only keep our wheels down, let's uh, put our landing gear down. But this basically will save us from coming down the hill and potentially ramming our nose into the ice here or just bouncing, you know, hitting a little ridge and bouncing and catching a lot of air. I mean, we're catching a lot of air here, but this is controlled in as such as we're going to use our rockets to slow down. Whereas if we're going nose first, we don't have rockets to slow down, and if our wheels aren't on the ground, and even if they are, they may not have enough traction to slow us down. So, uh, this is more controlled. We're exactly two kilometers up We're gonna land a little short, uh, but that's okay. We we have wheels. We'll, we're definitely going to be on the flats. Uh, we're starting to pick up some speed, so let's 
thrust a little to bleed that off. All right, we're about 20 meters per second and 700 meters up. Let's stop some of this forward momentum. All right, we're falling at five meters per second now. And increasing, we're 400 meters up. All right, we're up to 10 meters per second. So we got about 30 seconds. Two hundred meters up and eight meters per second, seven meters per second, six meters per second. Here's our shadow. Four meters per second, which is a perfectly fine landing speed. Three and a half meters per second, 20 meters up, slowing down a little bit more, and touchdown. A little bounce there, that's perfectly fine. Let's raise the gear. Okay, let's turn off SAS now. Uh, remove or turn off the reaction wheels and uh, let's reset our control from here to the probe all right we're not too far oh let's uh shut down the engines apparently with the engines on the wheels don't do anything or at least it didn't seem to. And they still don't seem to. What is going on here? Oh! Well, the brakes are on. That's what's going on there. There we go. A oh, little wheel slippage, but uh, it's under control now. Let's uh, turn towards the location. Now, this episode's gone a bit long, but I just want to finish off this mission together. This information, the uh, temperature readings. Come on. All right, we're going about 6.6 .6 meters per second. Not too far. I'm not sure how big those icons are in relation to each other, but... We're just about one icon's width away. We're going at just about 7.5 meters per second. So it shouldn't be too long. Um, if we're going 10 meters per second, and it was a kilometer away, that's uh, 100 seconds to get there, which is just under 2 minutes. So, we might be 2 minutes away if the icons are a kilometer big, which I don't know that they are, but that's my guess. We're at two meters in altitude, uh, and that's just because of the height of the capsule above the surface. Actually, in this case, I think it would be the probe here, uh, as that's what we're controlling by. Let's see our distances. We're now 
well, quite a bit further <laughs> from the uh, previous rover than we uh, were a short while ago, but this is where the mission takes us, so this is where we go. We're, uh, we are in the area. Let's apply the brakes. Ooh, ooh, hey, don't skid out here. All right, that's pretty good. We're slowing down decently now. That wasn't too bad. Let's just hit the brakes and have it come to a complete stop. Alrighty, there we go. Let's uh, log the temperature here, overriding our previous. And get off the thermometer. Let's gather survey data from PBT Delta. Some more funds and science and reputation. Uh, but since it didn't say we were complete, <laughs> Alright, now we have to measure temperature at Epsilon. Oh, and look at that. Um, are we... Alright, we're already... That's... Well, a little more than halfway to that ridge. Which I can't even see, so... <laughs> Let's turn off the brakes. And... Uh, Let's get going. Alright, we're almost directly facing it right now. Hopefully this will be the last location. Alright, we're we're going. Since I can't even see the ridge we're supposed to be heading towards, I'm going to go a little bit faster, maybe up to 10 meters per second, since this is all nice and flat. And then let go of the power. We just have to make sure we keep going straight and don't start sliding, which hopefully shouldn't be a problem on this nice flat surface. Oh, these are pretty good wheels. They don't seem to have much friction because we're not really slowing down at all. At least it doesn't seem like it. And the velocity meter speed seems to concur. Okay, this looks like a bit of a ridge coming up above the horizon. So, um, we just have to drive a little more than halfway there, and we'll be at our location, I think. Oh, we are really keeping that 10 meters per second. These has got to be ultra-low friction wheels. All right, we are drifting a little bit off, and that's the wrong way to turn. Let's turn back a little. A little hard to, <laughs> with everything being reversed. Keep steady. Come on. There we go. All right, that actually is heading us a little more towards the ridge that we saw on the map, so 
Turning did slow us down a bit, but we're still going basically 10 meters per second. We're still keeping charged. I guess it really helps because we're not uh, running the motors constantly. We're just basically coasting at this point. So, yeah, this is not really collecting anything. This is collecting two and a half, and we probably are getting some... Well, that's not that much, but it's, it's something. Probably collecting like three volts or char... whatever. <laughs> three energy a second. And at least right now, we're not basically not using any of it because we're just coasting along here rolling to our destination I wasn't keeping an eye on the electric charge if it was being used a bit while we were accelerating it it probably was <laughs> but I wasn't watching how are we doing all right we're getting close I don't know if that's a kilometer or a half and a half or or whatnot but hopefully within the next three or four minutes we'll be in the area Hermes is just looking around in his capsule at all the wondrous sights here on Minmus <laughs> How is his, uh... Well, he has a window, but, um... <laughs> Can't really see much out of it. Just the stars. You would hope he would see the ground. But I guess he is just navigating by his navigation instrumentation. Let's, uh... Turn a bit. Oh, that's power. Sorry. Turn a bit more towards the reading location. Yeah, and we're headed right for that ridge now. All right, we should be pretty close. <laughs> All right, apparently it's a pretty big area where you can get the reading. Let's uh, put on the brakes and come to a stop. Which is going to take quite a while. All right, we're down to three meters per second. Two meters per second. A meter per second, and um, just before I stop, let's um. Actually, this isn't too bad. Let's take that reading. Let's put on the brakes. Okay, we have taken that, and uh, we've gathered data from PT, uh, PBT Epsilon, and we have finished conducting the temperature survey on Min, uh, you know near Mimis Station. That gets us a lot of funds and for reputation, and uh, that's just gonna be this episode sun is getting ready to set let's uh, turn on our we have a headlight didn't really need it but starting to get dark let's uh, put out our landing legs which happens to bounce us 
up into the air a bit. And while we're here, let's deploy the drill and start harvesting. And we might as well extend the solar panels while we're here. <laughs> Together, more electricity. Hopefully this one doesn't block that one. Because this back one is aimed more at the sun. And we'll... Oh yeah, look at that. Uh, 25 and still increasing energy per second. There we go, yeah. Almost 26. And this one's probably... Well, it's 14. It, it is getting some. You can still see... Uh, yeah. And this is... It's still almost two and a half. Yeah, so we'll be able to run for quite a while. We also have... Well, we got some batteries here, and the fuel cell has a little bit of a battery, and we should be able to run for a bit into the night, gathering uh, ore, uh, so we can refill these fuel tanks, and uh, probably next time, this has been a long episode, we will fly, not drive, but fly from here to Minmus Station. Or near enough that we can then drive over uh, somewhere <laughs> in this little flats here. Uh, so we can drop off some of this science that we gathered to be analyzed and studied. And then we'll uh, try to grab this uh, location. Or, well, we'll navigate to there. Um, that does look up the hill a little bit, but hey, we've come up this hill, and so that's shouldn't be a problem as long as we can safely fly over to this little flats. Uh, but that'll be next episode. So I'm going to say uh, thanks for watching Kerbal Space Program, and I'll see you next time.